Spilling the Tea with F&B episode what, what? 15. Yeah. In. And uh, <laughs> first, before we even start, um, you know, we want to say from the Fire and Brilliance team, happy holidays. Happy holidays. It is here. Wow. Next week is Thanksgiving. Can you believe it? The what? year is almost over. I know. How did that happen so fast? I have no idea. To be honest, I thought yesterday was April. Yeah. Uh, happy holidays. Happy Thanksgiving to those uh, that will, may not catch our episode next week. But mm -hmm. uh, hopefully you can because we're going to be talking about a lot of uh, fun things. Right, uh, including Black Friday. Yeah, Black Friday, Cyber Monday. That's yeah. what a lot of people wait for. And mm -hmm. that's a super exciting time of year. Gives you some to shop. Tri tips and tricks. Tips and tricks and yeah. ideas and, and all that stuff. So Yeah. Yeah. Stay tuned. So, Today's episode is about, um, I think we did this episode a, a couple of weeks back. Right. A lot of our, uh, well, our audience, you guys, um, basically have chimed in and said, hey, you know, you want to see another episode like this, or we're going to do something fun today. Right. What was the episode? Uh, which is the celebrity episode of the Celebrity Rings and our thoughts. So mm -hmm. we're actually going to discuss eight different celebrity rings today. Mm -hmm. And um, when I looked up the most popular rings, the most trending rings at the moment, um, a lot of solitaires came up, um, which we talked about last week. Mm -hmm. A lot of three stone rings came up, um, which we also see a lot um, ordered uh, mm -hmm. through us at Fire and Brilliance. Um, but I kind of wanted to focus on some of the more conversation pieces sure. where there's a lot more ornate things going on. Um, so that we can just talk about them and kind of like provide a rating system. So we're actually going to do um, gobbles, okay? We're going to have little turkey icons at the very bottom here um, to rate how much we like each ring. Um, now it can be just like up to, you know, it's, it's up to either of us to decide like whether we like it, wh whether we don't like it as much as this specific ring or sure. whatever. Yeah, and it's just like, it's just a matter of opinion. Right. So please don't be offended if we don't like the ring that you like or, you know, vice versa. Give us your gobbles as well. <laughs> and, um, you know, I just want to chime in on that. It's, uh, we're going to, again, uh, this is a fun experience and fun, a fun game to play between one to five gobbles. Just yes. because if we decide to give it one gobble does not necessarily mean it's bad. It's just that it we're just comparing we it with the other eight r celebrity rings that we are actually comparing right, it to. Right, exactly. So it's a comparison thing. So mm -hmm. uh, you so want to start? So how many gobbles for these bobbles? <laughs> <laughs> so again, okay, so it's <laughs> one to five gobbles, and we're going to kind of do a, uh, a quick uh, type of thing. So if I look down, it's because I'm pulling up these rings and to give me a reminder of right. what they as are. Right, as I'm describing them. As you're describing you them, and we'll both kind of chime right. in on what we think. Mm -hmm. Images will be provided by um, our lovely media team here. Um, okay, so first up, we have Meghan Markle. This is the Meghan Duchess Markle. of Sussex, bride to Prince Harry. Uh, she was an actress. She has retired since uh, becoming a part of the royal family. Mm -hmm. And so this is a beautiful three carat cushion cut diamond from Botswana, um, from where the couple spent time. The side stones were actually given to the prince by the Princess Diana. Mm -hmm. Princess Diana. She saved them for him. Well, so Princess of Wales, in other words, Princess Diana, the one that passed away, his mother, right? Yeah. Okay. So then that was passed down to him, which is awesome. That uh, is that's an heirloom. So amazing. Right. Um mm -hmm. to just have that important piece be a part of the entire family and just mm -hmm. passed down from generation to generation. Which that's is so wonderful. Great. Which is wonderful. So uh, the picture that I'm looking at here, it's a beautiful three stone setting. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the center stone, again, you said that's, it looks like a, I mean, there's o only so many pictures online that you can pull. So a lot of times with these celebrity rings, um, the pictures are not as clear as you wish it could be. So it looks right. like a crushed ice to me uh, type of um, cushion setting. Is or it a little cut. elongated, you think? Slightly elongated. It's definitely not even sided. It's a beautiful mm -hmm. ring. Uh, and if you've... Um, seen my other episodes and, and, and things I've analyzed and gone over, I really appreciate classic types of settings. So I love solitaires and three stone settings. So I would have to say that this deserves four gobbles. <laughs> <gasps> Ooh, okay. So for me personally, if I were to just imagine it on myself, it, I mean, my fingers are really small. They're size 4.5. If you follow us on Instagram, you know. Um, but I would say that for me, if I were to wear it, like it would have to be like Three gobbles. <laughs> Three gobbles. Three gobbles. Because, t to be fair to myself, mm -hmm. um, but on her it looks 
uh, just yeah. amazing because it's just so flattering on her. Okay. Um, it just depends on like the type of fingers that I'm imagining it on. Like, cool. <laughs> All right. So, and there's no right or wrong answer. Three gobbles is yes. still. All right. So the next <laughs> ring. Let's go into the next one. Okay, we've got Alexa Ray Joel. Now, this is a singer-songwriter. She's daughter to Billy Joel mm -hmm. and Christy Brinkley. Um, her ring features an emerald-cut center diamond with a thick, rounded, vintage-inspired band embellished with milgrain and diamond bezel accents. So it's kind of like slightly, it's got a slight split band mm -hmm. um, on either side, and it just it's is, like a, is like so stunning, almost. I yeah. think. Mm -hmm. All right, what do you think? I think it's beautiful. It's very vintage um, looking. Um, I, again, these pictures are not as clear as I wish they could be. It looks like, again, you, you mentioned there's some mill grain maybe, uh, depending, uh, based on this picture. Uh, the center stone is very noticeable, and mm -hmm. which is, uh, if, especially if it's an engagement ring, I personally, from a design standpoint, prefer rings that showcase the center stone and does not mask it too much because mm -hmm. the whole point of an engagement ring is to showcase that center stone, in my opinion. Now, with that said, this definitely does that. And on top of that, with the design, the vintage-inspired type of look and feel, I really, really like it. I'll give it three and a half gobbles. <laughs> if, if we can do three and a half. Yes, can we, we do can halves? do three and a half. Or quarters? They're still, li they're there's still alive gobbles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, you can give three and a half gobbles. Okay. Mm -hmm. I really, really, I am partial to it because, mm -hmm. yes, again, like, it features the center stone so mm -hmm. well. Um, just because of this light, like, split band mm -hmm. kind of effect there, mm -hmm. It kind of um, grabs your attention and draws you back to the center stone, which is a step cut. So you kind of have that hall of mirrors effect kind mm -hmm. of just bouncing off each other. And it kind of gives it a simple look next to a very ornate uh, look with like the that. band. So I feel like there's enough juxtaposition there that I will actually give it four gobbles. Four gobbles. <laughs> yes, four. Four gobbles. You can disagree with me in the comments. I don't, I don't mind. I want to hear all of your different gobbles. All right, so <laughs> let's go on to the next. All right, we have Katie Cassidy. Now, she is an American actress. Um, she, you know, we've known her for her roles on uh, Arrow, The Flash, and she's recently um, had an, a role in Hidden Agenda, the video game, which is super, super cool. To check that out. Um, and uh, so... Matthew Rogers relied on her stylist and jeweler to come up with something uniquely made just for her. Uh, five carat marquee diamond set on a diamond pave band. Upper and lower gallery rail, like all of that's all diamond studded. And double prongs on either side, mm -hmm. except for the like the very ends of it um, mm -hmm. on top and bottom, those are single prong. Mm -hmm. So when you mentioned five carats, is that center stone the five carats, or is that a total five carat total? Weight? I think that's the know? that's just the marquee. The itself. marquee. Okay, perfect. Um, now, it's a beautiful piece, and the reason why I say that's because it, it encompasses uh, the center stone, which is the again the main attraction of engagement ring, in mm -hmm. my opinion. There are a lot of um, uh, Melly's uh, diamond accent gems that surrounds the center stone right below it in a beautiful basket design with micro pod vase settings. Mm -hmm. uh, a thin and petite look, which is a very modern and beautiful look, uh, in my opinion, uh, which is a beautiful, beautifully crafted design. Overall, uh, it's uh, very modern, has a unique touch to it, it, has a lot of sparkle, there's a lot of gemstones all around it, and it showcases a beautiful, I mean, how can you say, how can you say no to a beautiful five-carat <laughs> marquee diamond ring? Right? Well, so, I think I know how many gobbles you're going to give I'm it. I'm going to give it, um, you know, I, I don't. I think it's going to be very difficult to, to, for me to decide and give anything one gobble or five gobbles because, I mean, either I have to think it's horrendous or I would have to <laughs> think it's absolutely stunning to the point where I'm going to give it five gobbles. So I'm, I, it's very rare that I will ever give anything too much or too little, so I'll give this one four and a half <laughs> gobbles. You're being very fair with the rating system. Mm -hmm. So, we're, again, we're rating it from, like, one to five gobbles. Mm -hmm. We could even give it zero gobbles if, you know, if anything. Or negative one if it's really not Right, nice, exactly. Right, so. But I am I, – I love this ring so much. It's – like, the stone itself, is, it looks super elongated. Mm -hmm. It fits so well with her, you know, her slender fingers. It can even make your fingers That's look good point. even more slender. That is a really good point. I love that you said that. Right. Yeah. Even if you don't have slender Especially fingers, it can help make marquee. your fingers look longer, a little bit more flattering there. Um, yeah, it, it just looks so um, beautiful to me. And I think that 
I will give this. <laughs> wow. I know. <laughs> you gave an extra gobble. I surprised Michael. Did you see that? Wow. <laughs> That's a full Thanksgiving dinner. I don't want to eat that much for Thanksgiving, but well, yes. Pumpkin pie, maybe. Yes. Maybe I'll five share. gobbles and a pumpkin pie. Mm -hmm. We're kind of getting uh, to, uh, into the holiday spirit a little bit here. but um, <laughs> So here, so let's go into the next. All right, cool. And again, guys, chime in. Uh, if you've been following us for a long time and if you haven't commented below or hit the like button or subscribe to the channel, definitely subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and comment below if you haven't already. Let us know what you think. Uh, let us know if you like these designs. If you don't, how many gobbles you, you will you give it? It doesn't have to be a gobble. It could be a pumpkin pie or just a like or whatnot. But let us know what your thoughts, okay? Right. So Before we move on, I do want to mention that if you follow us on Instagram, I always mention, even on our IGTV, that I am I'm just so partial to elongated shapes and solitaires. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm, I'm a simple person. That's all you need to go to. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Scarlett Johansson. We know her. <laughs> World's highest paid actress. Uh, is she really? She is. Really? She really is. At least on Wikipedia. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but, I mean, well deserved. I mean, she's great. She also makes the cut to my top 10 celebrity crush list. Woman Crush Wednesday. What? What? I would have to agree. <laughs> um, anytime I would um, comment on Scarlett Johansson, I think Linda gets a little jealous. But uh, she's a beautiful actress. I, would have I think to when say. I mention her, Dan gets a little jazz. <laughs> 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 okay. Um, so her ring, I actually, you know, when um, I started out as a designer here, sure. uh, I actually modeled the ring uh -huh. after this as inspiration. It's mm -hmm. so it's so beautiful to me. It's an Art Deco piece. Um, I don't know if it's like an actual like vintage ring, but I but I think maybe it was like vintage inspired. In any case. Mm -hmm. um, I think people were mentioning that they think that uh, the diamonds were rose cut because mm -hmm. they kind of slit f sit f uh, flat and flush mm -hmm. to the setting and um, they don't protrude from uh, the large rectangular metal centric setting. Mm -hmm. uh, the bezel set center stones, I think the geometry is so stunning uh, here. It's just it's framed in a way where it looks like it's an elongated piece. Mm -hmm. If it were sub subbed in with an elongated gem, that's what kind of gives the same look and feel. And, um, you know, based on my limited, um, I guess, research on her ring, mm -hmm. um, if, if, if they are considering that the gemstones is a rose cut as opposed to a brilliance cut, uh, I might have to agree only because uh, the picture, first of all, it's, uh, again, it's a little blurry, so I mm -hmm. can't tell, but the brilliance isn't there. And if it's a brilliant cut, you could definitely see a lot of brilliance and fire, uh, or in other words, a lot of the sparkle. That um, uh, This one looks a little f uh, more flat, so it's more of a, a antique-inspired cut. Uh, so it's definitely probably more like a rose cut, if mm -hmm. not, uh, but it de definitely does not look like a brilliant, uh, a brilliant cut to me in terms of the three center stones. Right, and uh, the metal itself also sits like against her right, fingers. So right. you need some of that space right. if you were to have have a brilliant stone exactly right? exactly so uh, the bezels around it so the, it's a beautifully designed ring mm -hmm. uh, now there's three stones uh, there are two well, in other words it looks like a three stone setting but it's elongated from uh, top to down north to south as opposed to east to west right yes. so uh, there are two smaller stones from, uh, on the outside uh, and a larger center stone on the inside and the center in other words uh, three bezels and that's covered by uh, I'm assuming these are natural diamonds that goes around it, uh, and it looks like a stairway that's moving upwards as the uh, uh, from the center of the yeah, shank. So right. uh, it's absolutely pretty ring, uh, and it's elongated. And again, with uh, your point earlier with the marquee setting, if you have longer fingers, it can complement, especially if it's elongated ring, complement the uh, the uh, the look and feel of your fingers. So mm -hmm. um, I would have to say, uh, based on this design, I'll give it four <laughs> gobbles. <gasps> Four. He's I got like, high expectations. I like, I like <laughs> the, I like the design. Yes. I like the, uh, the uniqueness of the design. Yes. Would yeah. you give it to somebody, yourself personally? Would I, as in like purchasing, like yes. a, as a gift? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, I would. There you go. I mean, again, I mean, I wouldn't give it four gobbles if I didn't like it. Yeah. I love the uniqueness of the design. Mm -hmm. I love the uh, nobody artistic. else has this. Right, it's different. 
is different, right? So I mean, there are many different rings, just like the marquee setting earlier. That took, looks more like the uh, typical design that people will receive these days, which I can uh, definitely appreciate, especially uh, since I like classic settings. Uh, mm -hmm. This is definitely not a classic setting. It's very um, different and out exactly. there, and that's why I appreciate about it. It's mm -hmm. just not something that you see every day, and that's why I modeled the ring after this mm -hmm. one, just because like, if if someone wanted that exact ring, it's so pretty, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. they can have an alternative. Yeah. Yeah. So All right. And I will give it five gobbles. Five gobbles. <laughs> yeah. I really like it. Wow. I know. <laughs> okay, moving on. Pippa Middleton. Mm -hmm. This is the sister of the Duchess of Cambridge. Kate. Uh, English socialite, author, and columnist. Uh, this is a three-carat Asher cut diamond surrounded with octagonal halo with um, diamond accents. Each corner squared off with metal, creating a unique look of sprouted sun rays, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, uh, you know, based on what it looks like, it's it's definitely a um, well. First of all, what is an asher? An asher is a step cut, um, and it's uh, it's in other words a square emerald, mm -hmm. right? That's what an em uh, an emerald is a step cut that's elongated. An asher is just a square emerald. That's what it is, uh, and there's eight sides, so it's oct is oct octagonal in shape. Uh, so the halo that goes around it definitely is octagonal as well. So is it gives it, it a lot of octagonal or octagonal. I have no idea. I. I've heard both. I could say octagonal. Maybe if you guys know, <laughs> well, how would they be able to comment and, uh, in terms of um, octagonal? I think if we looked up on the dictionary as well, I mean, like, they, each word has, like, one of those accent marks and, sure. like, where to pause. Right. And which one, like, which vowels to, like, drag out and keep short. Mm -hmm. So I'm not really sure, but maybe we just want to leave it up to you guys. Just correct us down in the comments how yes. you say it. Maybe you like saying it a different way than it's supposed to be pronounced. Who knows? Do that. Definitely do that. So <laughs> let us know if it's octagonal or octagonal. Yes. Okay, so um, it's a beautiful setting. It's um, The center stone looks like there's a bezel set. I can't tell by this picture, but it looks like there's a belt metal, um, mm -hmm. a wall of metal around the center stone and then yes. another wall of metal around the uh, the halo. Yes. Uh, I like it. I like an Asher cut. Uh, the design overall, it's okay to me. I'll give it about, um, I'll give it three gobbles. Fair. I would also probably give it, well, maybe a little bit more because I like, I love the art deco look mm -hmm. and um, I'm a fan of like all of our pieces in the art deco style mm -hmm. section mm -hmm. <laughs> of our website um that i would actually give it three and a half gobbles. that's my first three point and a half five <laughs> yeah okay perfect let's see here so the next ring let's move on okay olivia wilde she is a very well-known actress model producer director activist um another you did your woman, research yeah another woman crush wednesday for me thank you um i i loved her role in, as 13 from house md and um she is married to a one jason sudeikis and um her ring is a vintage find from paris uh, circa, I think, like, 1921 wow. or some, something like that, mm -hmm. um, according to Brides Magazine. It's a two-carat diamond center surrounded by a single halo of, um, let's see, a single halo that's well-defined by metal and a row of stunning emeralds, like mm -hmm. green emeralds. Um, delicate band. I think it's two-toned. I'm not sure what it it's two-toned two -toned. with. It but looks I think the halo itself is... Uh, yellow gold and the band is maybe like a white gold platinum not sure well white metal can um, it comes in a lot of variety right mm -hmm. so it could be uh, silver it could be palladium it could be platinum it could be white gold so um, if I had to take a guess if her center um, halo was made of yellow gold it's most likely white gold uh, or platinum or palladium but I mean I would say it's probably white gold but um, the scent go ahead fun fact the green emeralds were chosen by her bow um, because of her beautiful green eyes. That's what those reminded him of. Wow. Yeah. Wow, really? There you go. Wow, okay. She does have green eyes. I never noticed that. You're yeah. right. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful ring. I will give it, uh, based on the design and the uniqueness, um, personally, I don't like it too much, only because I think it's a little too much in terms of the... Um, 
the green and the yellow and the white and this and, the, and a, uh, a clear center stone. It's just a little out there to me. I'll give it about two and a half. <laughs> now, for me personally, mm -hmm. I wear colors that are very foresty, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and if not black, and uh, I do wear green every now and then but i feel like if i were to be given a ring like this it would be harder for me to match with yeah. you know my you know my color palette so i feel like on her and just because it's so personable it's made to be olivia wildable <laughs> mm -hmm. um that i feel like it is two gobbles for me but it's probably like 10 gobbles for her I would have to agree, especially if uh, the ring was made to match her eyes. Yeah, yeah. Right? So, My eyes aren't green. Right. <laughs> Personally, to me, I think it's just a play on too much uh, in terms of color. Mm -hmm. uh, white, yellow, and green. What do you really match that with unless you have green eyes? Right. So, or if you have a very, like, colorful, yeah, like, exactly. you know, style. Right. But that's our opinion. Wardrobe. You let us know what your opinion is. Definitely chime in, okay? So yes. uh, let's move on to the next. Okay. <laughs> We've got Kristen Bell, well-known American actress. Uh, Veronica Mars, anyone? Uh, she's also Frozen's Anna. Mm -hmm. Anna. Anna. Mm -hmm. Sorry. <laughs> um, and she's also a lover of sloths. If you ever check out Ellen and watch that interview fun. with her and Ellen so. and surprising her with a sloth, just just watch it. It's mm -hmm. emotional. It's a, it's a tearjerker. <laughs> um so uh, this ring features a three carat, I think, um, champagne diamond. Uh, it's bezel set emerald cut. And um, the diamond accents run along two rectangular metal pieces, one on each side, and a bit along the band, not quite half eternity. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it's kind of like a modern twist of Scarlett Johansson's ring because of those, you know, like you called it like kind of like a sectional or like a half halo. Mm -hmm. Because it doesn't. That's exactly what it looks like. Uh, it's a it's a good play on the three stone design, but mm -hmm. it's not exactly three stones because on the sides there are are um, accent diamonds as opposed to two larger stones. Uh, but there's a big um, uh, two sections of natural diamonds. So uh, so you could also call it a half halo because it doesn't go all the way around, right? So it's a it's a it's a mixture between a three stone design and a halo design. So it's a it's a nice. Um, combination of both now the one thing that i actually really like is the color of the center stone it looks like an emerald you said champagne diamond yeah it looks kind of amber diamond. here right. i'm not sure if it's you know in different lighting it could be a little bit different but yeah. it, it is just really gorgeous it's it's beautiful i will have to say this deserves four and a quarter gobbles <gasps> wow have you given a five gobbles yet? I have not. You have not. This is it's the highest. It's very hard for wow. me to actually give out five or one. This is great. Yeah, because uh, I have an appreciation for art, and I would have to say that, you know, something that deserves right, the exactly. most or the least, it's very hard unless you absolutely love it or hate it. So Yeah, and it's, it's subjective, um, too. Yeah, because subjective, like, for this sure. This piece could probably mean, like, way more to somebody where it's just, like, it's priceless. It's gobbleless. Right. <laughs> that right. Um, they could not put a rating system on that. It's just right. so gorgeous, and it's to that person. Person, right. for that person and so for us it's different because we're looking at it with a different set of eyes absolutely um, but i think it's absolutely gorgeous on her i feel like it's maybe about three and a half gobbles, <laughs> three and, a half gobbles. Mm -hmm. and if you have been watching this episode for that long uh, definitely continue because we'll be talking about the Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals that Fire Brilliance will be having next week. So yes. um, either continue to watch or, you know, obviously on YouTube you can skip along. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We've had people that like chime in saying that, oh, I've done like a whole marathon of your episodes. Uh -huh. And so um, it's great. You get to know me. You get to know Michael. You get to know all right guys and MKs. Someone told Marissa the other day that um, they've been watching all of our podcasts and listening to all of our podcasts and they love Aww, what we're doing. So That's sweet. I did um, not know that. So, yeah. So, thank you for <laughs> the person that said that. Um, so, let's move on to the last. Last but not least, Jamie Chung, well-known American actress, blogger, former reality TV personality. She was on Once Upon a Time. She actually does a lot more voice acting nowadays, she including on Big Hero 6, which right. is an amazing animated film. She was on MTV's, um, what was that? Real. Show? Real Life. Or, what was it called again? <laughs> was it? Yeah, something like that. I, Real. It's been a while. 
Yeah, but anyway, yeah. she, I think she's originally from the Bay Area as well. Because uh, one of my friends from uh, college, I guess he knew her at the time. But anyway. Mm -hmm. um, I have a friend who went to high school with her. Yeah, so she's definitely from around from this area. Now, uh, go ahead. Uh, explain the ring. Uh, the ring is around like four to five carats. Um, it's a round cut diamond with a single halo with four claw prongs on a split shank pave band that meets at the very bottom. Um, and it looks like the two bands are intersecting. It's not a uh, it's not your average split band setting because sometimes they split right where you know the setter stone is mm -hmm. and then they and they meet somewhere. Mm -hmm. But this one is where it meets at the very top and it meets at the very bottom. So it splits only um, on the sides. On the sides, so it goes in and out and outwards again. So it's uh, more like an oval shape type of look, I guess, if you or a marquee, mm -hmm. in other words. Um, it's a beautiful setting, it's micro pave. It's definitely a more of a modern touch to it. It's something that we've done many times in the past. It's mm -hmm. uh, um, you know, obviously a beautiful round brilliant cut center stone with a beautiful halo that surrounds it with natural pave diamonds with a split shank of natural pave diamonds that run along the shank. Um, so I would have to say it's a beautiful touch. Uh, it's something that we've done many times. I've, I've seen it many, many times made here at Fire Brilliance. Just because um, it's well-loved of a style. Well-loved of a style. So I would have to give it four gobbles. I will do the same. Mm -hmm. Four gobbles for me. Just because I have seen it multiple times. Um, but it's still so stunning. I think when right. you just see it on a hand, like in real life, you're just like, wow, like that's that's a gorgeous piece. Right. Like well, he did good. <laughs> when something's nice, it's nice. I mean, it's, uh, well, it's obviously subjective, right? Right, so, exactly. You know, what's nice to me might not be nice to you. What's nice to you might mm -hmm. not be nice to me. But I think uh, it's simple enough, but not too decked out. Like, right. I feel like if you are to go decked out, but still want to be sort of subtle about mm -hmm. it, <laughs> you can I agree. go with the setting and you cannot go wrong. I agree. All right, so if you stayed this long, been watching uh, us, let us know what you think about these celebrity rings. Um, is this some, Are any of these rings something that you would wear personally? Uh, is it something that you might want to change up? Maybe there's a design that you like, but you might want to customize just something about it that, that is not, um, that, that will make it look better in your opinion. Let us know. Right. Um, but, you Tag know. with your rating system down below. Like, go ahead. Absolutely. Each and every one. And it could be pumpkin pies, it could be gobbles, it could be stars, it could be whatever, thumbs up and yeah. likes. And tacos. And tacos. tacos. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Sid, you're wearing black for a reason. Uh, I am? Yeah. Oh, oh, you know what? Next week, we're actually going to talk about Black Friday. Black Friday. We'll share that in the next episode. Stay mm -hmm. tuned. We will find out. And for those of <laughs> you that have been following us for many years, even before we started the YouTube channel, went on Instagram that's been purchasing our jewelry, thank you so much. Uh, obviously, you do know that we will always have new deals on mm -hmm. Black Friday as well as Cyber Monday. Yes. Uh, so stay tuned. Uh, these are usually limited. Okay, so... First come, first serve. Believe it or not, many of our customers will wait until exactly midnight when these coupons or discounts are available. They snatch them up real quick. Yes, very quick, within seconds. So right. uh, that's a If you want to get on hint. the bandwagon, you are more than welcome to be. Yeah, that's a hint. So uh, we'll definitely go over more next week right before Black Friday. So stay tuned. Uh, thanks again, and we'll go over it with you on Thanksgiving. Bye. Bye.